when did you, I mean, you've been around Serbian basketball since he arrived in Colorado, but when did you, were you first made aware of him as a player? Uh, I mean, you know, you know the story how how he came to Mega, yeah. you know, and and uh, obviously the guys did a great job with him, recognizing, being patient, giving giving him a chance, you know, and then when I first uh, like had contact with him is the World Championship under 19 uh, for the national team of Serbia. He was 18 back then. He was 18 back then. He was he was the youngest in the team. And he was in training camp with us. Uh, he showed a couple of moves, you know, that really knocked us down. You know, really knocked us down. And we we brought him to the team. He wasn't one of the one of the main players initially, but during the tournament, you know, he was a surprise also for the for the opponent opponent players. Everybody that was like uh, under 19, and those guys have played against each other when they were 18, when they were 16. And they all knew each other, but nobody knew Nikola, you know. Nobody knew Nikola, so everybody was surprised with the way he plays and the way he doesn't he doesn't feel any pressure or any fear. That was like those were the first first things that that everybody everybody saw. Uh, obviously, after that, um, I could I could see you know knowing the great work that Mega is doing at that time with Coach Decky, who is now in Warriors. Um, with the, with the all other coaches, you know, I could I could I could understand that he will be he will be great, good player, great player, NBA player, but I don't think anybody knew that how how great you know he would become and become the the best player in the world without any doubt. But his basketball IQ at that time is that why you thought he would be so good, or you were t because when you mentioned it, you said his footwork. He made some moves, but was it his yeah. moves? Was it his no? Is it uh, Maybe it was a wrong expression. Like a move is for me also playing without the ball. You know, okay. it's also making the right pass. You know, and he does the right play, but he gives a little bit of more in everything he does. It's it's always it's always a little bit more, little bit more. Uh, let's say prettier pass than everybody else can do. You know, uh, so it's his basketball IQ. Obviously, it's. His ability to to put the ball on the floor, to pass, to shoot, but also a lot of people uh, doesn't understand how big he actually is. So he can he can take the guy down there on the on the block and and play with his back to the basket. So really, it's, he's a complete complete basketball player. In what ways do you think Jokic is molded by the Serbian basketball tradition, whatever that means. Like, in what ways do you think Serbia has influenced the type of player he is? Uh, I mean, he's obviously a unique talent, unique talent, so that is not something that is, that happens, that happens uh, often. But uh, I can see a lot of things, like, from, that are common in Serbia that he's got in his game, and that is uh, the, the way he takes the challenge. Uh, the way he doesn't care really who he plays against. Is it like uh, NBA legend? Is it when he was younger? Is it the best player in the world at that time? Or is it just uh, some guy, you know, in international basketball? He doesn't feel the difference. He plays, he plays the same way. And that is something that in Serbia we... we we are like a proud of you know when when we are underdogs when when everybody believes that we can't make it that is that is when we are we act the best. You know? But what happens now that he's the champion? I mean, he showed he showed like uh, huge professionalism. Uh, he showed that it's it is easier to achieve something, but it is much more difficult to stay there to stay there and. The way he does it, you know, the way he stays, he stays hungry, and and the way he loves basketball still, you know, trying to trying to to repeat, you know, it's it's like credit for him, you know, it's it's unique. Yeah. Do you feel like him winning and his rise has had an impact on basketball, the next generation of players? Is there more people that are liking basketball and getting into it over the last few years because? He's the MVP and now a champion. Yeah. 
that is really a case. That is really a case. It's the first time in history of of Serbia, you know, that we have a player who is the best in the world and who who won the the ring, but uh, who have been the the biggest part, you know, and the most important part of the team who who won the ring. That's the first time in history, and of course, a lot of a lot of kids are a lot of kids are uh, starting to play ba basketball now because of him. You know, so that is like a huge thing. That's it. that's a huge thing. And even when he when he uh, wins it with Serbia, you know, it will become so big that I cannot I cannot find words. I think that every kid in Serbia, I feel sorry for the other sports. You know, I don't know who's gonna play any other sport when he does that. So 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 far it was it, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm excited that you've gotten to be here. Hopefully, it becomes a. a, a the beginning of a new partnership with Mega. Um, I found Mega to be very interesting and, and it's only growing more and more interesting as it establishes itself more and more. So thanks. Excited thanks. that we got to thanks. have this conversation. And yeah, thank you. I'm glad that I'm here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.